Wow, guys, welcome to episode 2 of Comparing Jurassic World 1 Toys to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Dinosaur Toys. We are going to take a 50 gallon box of Jurassic World 1 Toys from Hasbro and compare them to the Jurassic World 2 Toys or Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Toys from Mattel. Wow, keep watching. Okay, then we're gonna move on to the Mosasaurus. These are the only two Mosasauruses I have. This one, uh, its mouth used to open. Uh, looks like it still does a little bit, but the mechanism seems to be broken, and it did have the battle damage right there. And then I have a uh, soft plush Mosasaurus. Okay, and then we are gonna move on to the Mosasaurus. Here you've got Mattel's Mosasaurus, here you got Hasbro's Mosasaurus and a uh, plush Mosasaurus. So this Hasbro one, it had the uh, open wound piece there. Its mouth did open and close when you moved its tail, but the spring mechanism just gave up. I mean this guy was not abused or anything, but uh, it seems like that is a very common thing with this, but when you turn it, bullet holes everywhere! It looks like this guy was riddled with the machine gun. It's like, what in the world? And then their plush one here, although I don't think Hasbro even... Well, okay, Hasbro did make the plush one. Compared to Mattel's big, huge one, this guy is all rubber. His mouth opens and closes. Uh, his, uh flippers or whatever those you would call move big huge tail so this guy you could use in your bathtub no screw holes anywhere all rubber so who wins this round Mattel definitely wins this round <laughs> Okay, then we are going to move on to the Dilophosaurus. This is actually a T-Rex Dilophosaurus mix over here. Uh, I don't know what it's... Okay, okay, so if you turn it, it does chomp. And then this is uh, like a bright colored Dilophosaurus with springing action there. And then a regular gray colored Dilophosaurus is the Dilophosaurus. These ones are from Hasbro. These are from Mattel. I think I got a couple more, but I have to find them. So that's a good uh, show of what they look like. The Hasbro ones, they did have like a squeaking noise. The ferals here pop out so you could take it back and then rawr. So I do like that one. Uh, that one's like a grayish one. This one's like a bright green one. So I do like the fact of that. But you know what? On the other sides of them, bullet holes everywhere. You got cuts for the speaker. So that takes a lot away from it. But this guy is my favorite. I love this guy. Look at him. <laughs> he looks like he's at some type of rock and roll concert. Rawr, rawr, rawr. This guy I call Crazy Charlie because he just goes crazy. And then Hasbro, I mean Mattel, sorry. Mattel does a great job with designing these and everything. They do have a little Venom piece. Uh, I'm not sure where I put those. The flaps move back and forward. So detail look wise, I would pick Mattel, but you know, fun wise right now I gotta go with Hasbro because I love this guy here that guy is so cool so <laughs> okay then we're gonna move on to <laughs> 
this sorry looking Allosaurus. I mean, he he just looks like a clown. I'm sorry. It's just terrible. Okay, and now we are moving on to the Allosaurus. This clown one here is the one Hasbro made. This is the one Mattel made. Hasbro's action feature. Uh, head moved up and down, opened its mouth. Uh, this, this guy can't even stand anymore. Turn it around. This guy's been riddled with bullet holes. Looks like a machine gun released on him and just tore him to pieces. And then here we've got the awesome one that Mattel made. Chomping mouth, roaring action features, arms move up and down, legs move uh, in and out. Like I said, roaring sound, really cool looking. So what do I say for this round? For this round, what I would say is Argh! Hasbro gone. Mattel wins. Yeah. And then these are the two Spinosauruses I have for Hasbro. Uh, really generic looking. <laughs> and then this is the one that is not quite as colorful. Okay, then our next comparison is Hasbro Spinosaurus's Mattel Spinosaurus. These Hasbro ones could barely stand anymore. But the Hasbro ones had the action feature. You pull it, had the battle damage. Once again, open screws everywhere. So I did not like that at all. And then they had, this was their first version. Same action uh, features, open wounds there, but open screw holes there. And then Mattel, Mattel did a great job with the Spinosaurus. Unfortunately, this guy is not available in the US. I mean, I was so disappointed. I had to pay a fortune to buy this guy from the UK. So I bought it on eBay, but big, huge Spinosaurus here. If you jam a Lego piece into the neck, you could keep its mouth open. But uh, normally, its mouth would be closed like that. You have the action feature here. So he. I mean, that's a mega chomp there. Uh, the arms move in and out, big huge claws, great coloring, no screw holes anywhere. So, who wins this round? Who wins this round is... Spinosaurus! Rawr! And what's gonna happen to the other? <laughs> So Mattel definitely wins this round. And then Hasbro had one Ceratosaurus with roaring action and chomping mouth. Okay, then our next one is Ceratosaurus. Who is the better, Hasbro or Mattel? With the Hasbro one, you have the wound here with his roaring action. The mouth chomps and opens, but if you turn it, ah, full of bullet holes again. Mattel, listen to how much louder this roar is. And it's like a continuous roar. Beautiful coloring, the arms move, the leg moves, the tail moves. Cool chomping action, no bullet holes. So, which one do you think I'm gonna vote for? <laughs> is it a question? Ah, Mattel is the winner! And they had one Dimorphodon with, uh, looks like it's broken. It was like a uh, light up wound there and flapping arms. Okay, and then we have Dimorphodon. Uh, let me know which one. Uh, this is the Hasbro one. Okay, this one's not too bad. It did have some uh, weird noise. Uh, the cell battery died. So, uh, this one's alright. And then this is Mattel's. <sighs> Mattel's is tiny. I mean, it does. the wings do move up and down. 
doesn't make noise. So this one, I would probably actually pick Hasbro's on this one till Mattel comes out with the better Dimorphodon. And far as I know, they only had one Pteranodon here with uh, lifts his head and it flaps its arms, but it's not working too great. Oh, looks like I bent them off. <laughs> And it has a wound which no longer works. Okay, then our next comparison was the Tranodons. These are from Mattel. This single guy here is from Hasbro. So this guy here, uh, when he is working, well, actually he still does work. I don't know why it doesn't spring back. Maybe like that. So he'll move his head and flap his wings, but... It's, it's just cheap and then uh, this wound was supposed to open up here it stopped working bullet holes everywhere okay but when we move to Mattel's Mattel gives a really great offering of pteranodons you can see this guy is huge and he sounds awesome check that out so realistic flapping action the wings actually fold if you want to put it away for storage or if you just want him to have like a shorter wingspan. So this guy is a really awesome looking Tranodon. And then they gave this other big one here that came with the uh, Destructosaurs helicopter set. This one is huge also, realistic looking flapping action when you push the button he doesn't make sound but he has a magnet here so he could rip a helicopter apart and that is a really cool looking one and then we have they also gave three smaller tranodons here so this one here is a classic one the mouth does open and close the wings uh actually this one does have an action Button. So the wings move up and down. Another classic one here. The wings move up and down and the mouth opens and closes. And one more. This one is a dark green one with yellow accents. So what do I say here? What I say is Mattel is the definite winner. Look at these two big ones. You could have them go into like flying formation here. That is so awesome. And then they had one Pachycephalosaurus with wound action and that was his attack mode. Okay now it's time to compare the Pachycephalosauruses. This is Hasbro's. These are Mattel's. Hasbro had the stretching head little wound here. Turn it over, screw holes everywhere. Very hard time standing. Uh, if you put him like, oh, okay, this one will stand. So this one's better than most of them. Mattel's are still a lot cooler. So here, again, but this is, this head butting action is like quick. So you could actually probably knock down another dino with it. Ah, there we go. Okay, so head butting action, legs move, arms move, head moves up and down, no bullet holes anywhere. And then they have one with battle damage here. So hit the side and ah! <laughs> But this one doesn't have uh, any head butting action, but his head will turn. So this one here, what I say is, stand him up and goodbye Hasbro! And then they had three hybrid Triceratops here. Uh, action, push the tail, his head pops forward. So this one's like bright blue and gold. And then they had a brown one with the same action features and a wound there on the side. And they had a green one with the same action features and the uh, wound on the side. Okay, this round, 
I have Triceratops hybrids from Hasbro here. I've got Mattel's Triceratops over here. First of all, Hasbro's, all of them had the weird action feature. You push it, this guy's neck pops forward a little bit. If you turn it, his head turns side to side. This one's bright blue and gold. Turn it around, riddled by bullets. This one, dark green, same action features. Wound open on the side here. Turn it around, riddled by bullets. This one here, same action feature. Wound over here. Turn it around, riddled by bullets bullets and then uh, Hasbro's ones you got the uh, battle damage one here hit the side pops open although this one they glued the horns on backwards so I mean I'm not gonna change it or anything I mean that is kind of cool turn it around no screw holes the arms do move out like that so you could have this guy like standing up and attacking and then their coolest one uh, to date is this Triceratops really authentic roar and different roars too the head moves up and down sideways the legs all move turn it around no screw holes anywhere and then their, uh, I believe this is the Play School one. I believe Hasbro still makes these. So this one's just a blue one. It's a little generic. But, okay, this one, who wins? If you ask me, I say Mattel wins definitely with this one here. So what's this guy gonna do? <laughs> Down they go. Okay, they had two Ankylosauruses. This was one, uh, its action feature was a swinging club tail. And then they had this one, that's like a green color that came with armor, with the same action feature. Okay, then next we have the Ankylosaurus. These two are the ones Hasbro made, this is the one Mattel made. Hasbro, you have the one with the armor. Okay, it's kind of cool. The armor does move up and down. Turn it sideways, riddled with bullet holes. So that's kind of disappointing that this was the first version of the same thing. Action feature here, I believe. His head does also pop off. Okay, you push the leg, the head pops off. Turn it over, riddled bullet holes. Mattel's, look at the detail on this guy. It is so awesome compared to those. So Mattel's here, big huge spikes everywhere. Action feature, it has a nice big button to push here. It's club tail swing back and forth. Really awesome spikes here. Of course a roar if you heard that. different roars actually and I mean overall this guy is so cool looking no holes anywhere so what do I say I say we line up these Hasbro ones right here and we club him to death <laughs> there we go and then they also had some masks and claws. So actually, actually this is a Velociraptor puppet there. They had a Velociraptor, I mean a T-Rex puppet here. And then they had the Velociraptor claws, which did not fit very good and they were made out of hard plastic. Okay, now we're gonna compare like masks and claws and stuff like that. So Hasbro gave these cheap plastic claws. You could put them on. Very unflexible, very uncomfortable. Uh, maybe made for a little kid. You got the uh, Velociraptor puppet. You got a T-Rex puppet. But then moving on to Mattel. Mattel went all out. They gave us some awesome rubber 
Velociraptor Blue Claws. Very flexible here, very cool looking. So it looks almost like a real Velociraptor. They gave us a cool neck mask here that actually opens and closes as you talk. A cool T-Rex mask that opens and closes as you talk. And the best one, Velociraptor Blues mask. Let me go ahead and turn this thing on as you can see there when I open it the eyes crack it makes velociraptor blue noises so if you look at it from the front you can see the eyes turn to look at you so it is really cool and when you're talking the mouth on the dino moves up and down with you like uh, because of the chin strap Okay, that brings us to the end of Hasbro's offerings I have, but then Mattel has a bunch more dinos that Hasbro never brought out. You got the Baryonyx. He is awesome. This one has sound and chomping action. No bullet holes. You got the orange Baryonyx that came with the slime set. So that is really awesome. And you have a Sukumimus, which this guy is one of my favorites. When I seen this guy at the uh, Toy Fair in New York in February, I was like, wow, this guy is so cool. So I like this. This is, uh, it's in the uh, Spinosaurus family, but it is a Sukumimus. And then, of course, they had the Indoraptors, which they did not have in the first one because it was a hybrid not yet created. This is the regular one, and this one is the deluxe one. So this one has a switch for arm movement, and then it has a button for uh, head movement there. The mouth opens, the eyes light up, or you could use both and create like an animatronic puppet type look. So this guy's pretty evil looking. <laughs> they are awesome. And then they had some other awesome ones. You got the Stegosaurus here. Big huge uh, action figure here with the tail swinging action. So if you push the spike here he swings his tail very realistic looking this is like rubber at the end so when you swing it it looks like it's actually swinging and then the Carnotaurus I love the Carnotaurus this guy the uh, gaming beaver calls this guy toast and <laughs> I think that's really cool. So, this one you could go slow or fast. Jump, 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 jump. So, really cool looking Carnotaurus. And then they have one. I think this is one of the weirdest ones. The Metricanthosaurus. It does have sound and everything, but with the oversized jaw, I mean, he just looks really goofy looking. And then here's a few more of the different species. They have like a Gallimimus, you got the Stiggy Milak or Stiggy, the Herrerasaurus. So uh, they do have a lot more species of dinosaurs than they did uh, with Jurassic World 1. So with the toys. And then on top of that, they already have probably about 12 action figures where the Jurassic World 1 series only had Owen and they already brought out a bunch of awesome Jurassic World vehicles. You could check out all those. Uh, I have reviewed uh, pretty much all of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys on my channel. I do got over a thousand videos. The majority are Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, King Kong, Transformers, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, Scooby-Doo, and a lot more. Check out the playlist on my channel. Or for more Jurassic World fun videos, check out the playlist at the end of this video. You guys are awesome, and I will see you soon. And today's secret word is the word...
go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun video. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.